of the immigration checkpoint at the Sadao district of Thailand's Songkla province is shut for a week. This after an immigration official and a policeman tested positive for COVID-19. The checkpoint has been shut since Wednesday noon for disinfection. For more on this, our correspondent Saksit Sarsamba joins us live. Saksit, what happened at that border crossing? Well, it seems to be the result between, of an argument between a Malaysian truck driver and that said immigration officer that has happened at the beginning of April. Uh, the Malaysian truck driver, according to the Thai immigration officials, they, he refused to have his temperature checked and wasn't wearing a mask. And in that ensuing argument between the two of them, the Thai immigration officer must have caught the virus uh, from him. And... Uh, Two weeks later, sure enough, uh, in that incubation period, uh, that immigration officer has developed a fever, went to the doctor, and that's when he found out that he has the virus. Now, another immigration officer has also been tested positive, and uh, basically the whole immigration checkpoint, some 70 uh, officers there, are also now in quarantine because, obviously, they have been in close contact. Another consequence, obviously, that um, immigration checkpoint in Sadao, in Songkla province, to the border to Malaysia, is now closed for a week. All uh, ties that were supposed to come in to that checkpoint has have to go to other checkpoints, or another checkpoint that is about uh, 50 minutes away from that in the north west of that as well. Other uh, border checkpoints also remain open for now. And that has been um, a, development, a development that we have seen over time already, that many ties, uh, thousands of ties stranded on the Malaysian side that are working on the Malaysian side but couldn't come back to Thailand because of the border closures um, to contain the spread of the COVID-19 virus. Uh, virus. But now, uh, since the 18th of April, uh, bit by bit, Thais have been allowed to get back into the country. Some 1,600 uh, Thais have been allowed back into uh, their home country, but they have to go into state quarantine either after the checkpoint or in their respective home provinces. And there are still many, many more Thais uh, to, be, uh, to be expected to come over to Thailand, but they only allow a certain number of Thais or people in general to come over the border. All right, uh, Saksa, switching to some numbers we're seeing out this morning, Thailand's economy, like every other economy right now, under very heavy pressure because of the coronavirus pandemic. Of course, the tourist uh, industry, a very big part of Thailand's GDP, 6 to 7 percent, and tourist arrival figures from March seeing a very steep fall. Tell us more about that. Yes, indeed. As you said, Thailand, uh, tourism is a vital part of Thailand's economy for quite some time now. And this is really taking a battering. Um, the recent numbers that we have seen for the month of March, there has been a drop of 80 percent of tourist arrivals compared to the previous year. And this goes to show that how much this virus has affected um, international travel, and especially travel to Thailand, uh, especially since there has been a lot of fear of imported cases from other countries coming to Thailand. And that's why uh, the authorities had to shut the borders. They had to um, ban and suspend all uh, passenger arrivals to Thailand, except, for, of course, now for repatriation flights that come uh, into Thailand few and far in between. And just to give you an idea, last year we had a record number of almost 39 million uh, tourist arrivals here in Thailand. And, of course, the bulk comes from China, and also the uh, drop of arrivals from China has been 90 percent. So almost all Chinese tourists uh, have have been um, banished, have been vanished uh, whatsoever as well. And that, of course, has some huge ramifications for Thailand's um, economy. Experts are expecting that the economy will contract five to six percent. So that will be the worst economic performance since the uh, Asian financial crisis in 1997. And also there have been many warning, uh, many warnings that a lot of people will lose their jobs. Up to 10 million people will lose their jobs. And a bulk of them, of course, also in the tourism industry. And that goes to show that this is hurting the Thai economy very much. And if this keeps dragging on, this will hurt the Thai economy even more.